Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example on straight lines. A line L joins point F having a coordinate of 3 comma 2 and point G having a coordinate of minus 5 comma 4. Calculate the length of line L. So whenever they give you to find out the length of a line or distance between the two points we have to make use of a formula given as d is equal to square root of x1 minus x2 the whole term squared plus y1 minus y2 the whole term squared now here they have given us f as 3 comma 2 and g as minus 5 comma 4 so we can take x1 comma y1 as the coordinates of the point f and write it as 3 comma 2 and similarly x2 comma y2 will take the coordinates of g that is minus 5 comma 4 so we get it as d is equal to square root of x1 is 3 minus x2 is minus 5 so here already we have a minus in the formula so the value of x2 is again minus 5 so we will write it this way now the whole term is going to get squared plus y1 is 2 minus y2 is 4 so 2 minus 4 the whole term is squared let us solve this further we get it as square root of 3 minus of minus becomes plus 5 the whole term squared plus 2 minus 4 is minus 2 the whole squared so you can directly put in the calculator to get the value of the square root but here I am just solving few more steps so we get it as 3 plus 5 is 8 so 8 square plus minus 2 the whole square becomes plus 2 because the square of a minus term is always positive so we end up as square root of 64 plus 4 which is square root of 68 so let's see how much is square root of 68 so it is square root 68 gives us 2 root 17 or change it to a decimal format we will round it off as 8.25 so it is 8.25 and this is the value of t that is the length of the line between the two points now let us look at the next part of this question find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of line L in the form y equal to mx plus c so we have to first think about a line which is joining these two points so here is a rough graph I have drawn to make you understand this example now let us find out the point f on the graph so x is 3 and y is 2 so x is 3 and y is 2 so point f comes over here so that is 3 comma 2 and the point g is on minus 5 on x axis and 4 on the y axis so minus 5 and 4 it comes approximately over here so this is our point g minus 5 comma 4 so let us join the points so they look somewhat like this so we have to find the perpendicular bisector of this line L so perpendicular bisector means it cuts this line GF exactly at one half of the way so since we know that perpendicular bisector divides the line L into two equal halves that means it is the midpoint so the midpoint formula is given as x comma y which are the coordinates of the midpoint which are over here is equal to x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2 now in the previous part of this question we had taken x1 and y1 as coordinates of f and x2 and y2 as coordinates of g so let us substitute the values over here x1 is 3 and x2 is minus 5 so plus of minus will be minus so minus 5 over 2 comma 2 plus 4 over 2 
So let's simplify this. This becomes negative 2 over 2, comma 6 over 2. So now further simplifying it as minus 1, comma 3. So these are the coordinates of the midpoint. Now we have to find out the equation of the perpendicular bisector that is this line in the form y equal to mx plus c. So let us write down it is given as y equals mx plus c. Now in this given equation m is the gradient and the formula for m is given as y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So here since we have taken y1 as 2 and y2 as 4, let us substitute here 2 minus 4 over x1 we have it as 3 and x2 as minus 5. So 3 minus of the formula and x2 is minus 5. So we get it as negative 2 over 3 plus 5 which gives us 8. So it is negative 1 over 4. Now here the gradient which we got as negative 1 over 4 is the gradient of the line L because we have used the coordinates of F and G to get the value of the gradient. So this is the gradient of the line L. But in the question we have been asked to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line L. So to find out the gradient of the perpendicular bisector we are going to make use of the formula that is gradient of the perpendicular bisector times gradient of the line which it cuts is equal to negative 1. So this is the condition for the perpendicular lines. Now the gradient of the perpendicular bisector is what we need to find times now gradient of line L we got it as negative 1 over 4 is equal to negative 1. So the gradient of the perpendicular bisector is going to be negative 1 times this entire term goes on the other side and could be written as 4 over negative 1 which is nothing but 4. So this is what we get the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. So let us write it as y equal to 4x plus c. Now we have to find out the value of c that is the y intercept. To find that out we are going to use the coordinates we got at the midpoints that is negative 1 comma 3 where x is negative 1 and y is 3. So let us substitute it over here. 3 is equal to 4 times negative 1 plus c. So 3 is equal to negative 4 plus c or c is equal to 3. The negative 4 goes on the other side it becomes positive 4 and we got the value of c as 7. Hence we have the equation of the perpendicular bisector as so it was mx plus c. Now y is equal to m we got it as 4 so 4x and c we got it as plus 7. So this is the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Now let us look at the next part of this question. A point h lies on the y axis such that the distance gh is equal to 13 units. Find the coordinates of the two possible positions of h. Now to make you understand this let us draw the graph again. So this is the graph from the previous part. Now we do not need the point F and the line L. So let us just remove that. And here they said that a point H lies on the Y axis. So let us take the point to be somewhere around here. We do not know it could be anywhere. So we will just mark it over here and take it as H. Now since it is on the y axis we have the coordinates as 0 comma y. Its x coordinate is going to be 0 since it is on the y axis. Now the another hint they have given is the distance between g and h is going to be 13 units. 
find the coordinates of the two possible positions of h so they are saying that there are two positions of h somewhere on the y axis to find this again we are going to use the distance formula which was given as d is equal to square root of x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square now here the distance is mentioned that is gh is equal to 13 units so we are first going to square on both the sides so this is squared and this entire term gets squared so the formula changes as d square is equal to x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square so we are getting rid of the square root now d is given as 13 units so we'll take it as 13 square is equal to we'll take the x1 here as the coordinate of g that is minus 5 minus the x coordinate of h is 0 so we'll take it as 0 whole term squared plus y1 of the point g is 4 minus the y coordinate of h is y so we are using the distance formula between the points g and h let us simplify this 13 square is 169 is equal to negative 5 the whole squared becomes positive 25 plus this is 4 minus y the whole term squared so this simplifies as 4 square minus 2 times 4 times y plus y to the power of 2 you can also use by multiplying 4 minus y and 4 minus y and then you can multiply term by term I have used the formula here directly for the expansion that is a square minus 2ab plus b squared so you can either use this formula to directly expand this bracket or you can split it up into two brackets and multiply it term by term using the FOIL method so let us come back to this one now further simplifying this we get it as 169 is equal to 25 plus 4 square is 16 minus 8y plus y square let us rearrange this so we have y to the power of 2 minus 8y plus 16 plus 25 and let us take the 169 on this side so it becomes minus 169 is equal to 0 so further most simplifying it y square minus 8y so it is minus 128 is equal to 0 now since this is a quadratic equation we use the quadratic formula to find out the two values of y y is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a so this is the quadratic formula we are going to use here a is going to be the coefficient of y square which is 1 over here b is going to be the coefficient of y which is negative 8 and c is the constant term in the expression which is minus 128 so substitute it over here in this formula we get minus of minus 8 plus square root of minus 8 the whole term squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is minus 128 over 2 times 1 so we get it as minus of minus is plus 8 plus or minus square root of 8 square is 64 minus of minus becomes plus and 4 times 128 is 5 1 2 over 2 you can directly put it in the calculator and solve it now here we are going to get it as 8 let us see what we have the square root of 64 plus 5 12 so square root of 64 plus 
gives us 24 so it is 24 over 2 so now we have two values of y which is given as 8 plus 24 over 2 and another value of y we have it as 8 minus 24 over 2 so here let's check how much we get 8 plus 24 divided by 2 gives us 16 and here we get the y value as 8 minus 24 divided by 2 so we have negative 8 so these are the two values of y that is 16 and negative 8 and the value of x we had already seen that since the point h is on the y axis the x coordinate is going to be 0 so here we can write one of the coordinate as 0 comma 16 and another coordinate is 0 comma negative 8 which we got over here so this is how we solve the given example Hope you have understood all the steps and liked my video. So if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.